This is Dr. Paul Steinke with Foot and Ankle Associates of North Texas. Today what we'll be discussing is a repair of a trimalleolar ankle fracture. What that means is this patient broke three of the major bones within her ankle. What we'll be doing is using plates and screws to repair those. At the same time we'll be repairing the broad ligament that holds the two long bones together in the leg to create stability called the syndesmosis. Here we can see the patient's fibular fracture, which is the long bone here, you can see that angled break there, and you can see the medial malleolar fracture, which is here. There's a third and additional fracture in the back of the ankle, which we'll show in the next image. Uh, that fracture, however, is less than 25% affecting the joint, and based on the literature and experience, we don't fixate this fracture just because there can be more damage caused by the dissection than the actual repair. Um, after fixation of all these fractures, the patient's joint will be better aligned and less risk of ankle arthritis. It's difficult to see here, but if you look very closely, there's a small bone fragment right here. That is the posterior tubercle fracture. You can see it's less than 25% of the actual joint, and that's why we're not repairing that today. So as you can see now, what we've done is expose the lateral malleolus. This is where the typical largest fracture is. It's called a spiral oblique fracture. It's a twisting that occurs in that bone, and you can see the fracture line here. The next step will be to remove what's called the hematoma, or this, this clot that is formed inside of that site and then we'll compress that with a small clamp and put a plate with screws on the side of that. We've completed the repair of the fibular fracture and you can see a small screw here. This is crossing the fracture line. The screw goes in this orientation and the fracture, you can barely see it now, it's underneath in orientation just like that. Once we fixate that small screw, then we put this plate over the surface, and that holds things together. And that can stand for life. These plates are all made anatomically, meaning that they mimic the bone's natural anatomy. So it's very rare that a patient would feel irritation as compared to what we used to deal with with the older screw technology. At this portion of the procedure, what we're doing next is we'll be fixating the medial malleolar fracture. We'll leave two, one or two small screws that go across this that hold that fracture together. We've exposed the medial malleolus here, and what we'll be doing next is exposing or removing some of this we call periosteum to expose the underlying bone, and putting one or two small screws across that to help hold that fracture site together. So at this point in the procedure, we've completed the repair by putting a plate and screws on the outside of the ankle called the fibula. And there's two small screws crossing that we call the medial malleolar fracture. The last portion of this procedure will be able to binding a small ligament back together along the middle of the leg. The two long bones called the tibia and the fibula are bound together by a, a, a ligamentous structure called the syndesmosis. During one of these injuries that becomes torn, if you don't repair it, the ankle becomes very unstable even though we fix the fractures and patients will develop arthritis. So the last portion of the procedure we'll be doing is putting the small anchor it's kind of difficult to see, but it's a little metal button there. There's a little metal button here. And by cinching that together with the suture in the middle, it'll bring those long bones back together and re-stabilize that ankle. Good. We've completed the procedure, and you can see an incision on both sides of the ankle, one where the fibula was repaired and the syndesmotic anchor that held the two long bones together was placed one along the medial malleolus. What will happen with this patient, we'll put her in a splint, which is like a hard uh, backed device to hold her foot like this with ace bandages as well. And she'll be wearing that for two weeks. The stitches will come, the, or excuse me, the sutures will come on in two weeks. At that point, we'll transition her to a, a below the knee cast. So we're that for additional two weeks. So total time now when we for this patient is usually about four weeks, at which time an x-ray will determine if we'll let her walk in a boot. Uh, most people are in a boot for about four weeks. So at that eight week mark after surgery, they're returning to their normal activities and that is the repair of a trimalleolar ankle fracture. I hope you found our video educational and interesting. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like below and subscribe to our channel for more videos.